Hi, this is Della. I'm here to share with you、um, one of the things that、um, a friend of mine asked me. And it is about the John the Baptist as a betrayer. I know that、um, there is this formula in SCJ talking about the one who will、um, betray. And the one who will be、uh, destroyed, and at the end, there will be one who saves. This is a very in- important formula in SDJ because this pattern seems to be、um, happening over the time、uh, in a sequence in the Bible. And that is exactly the pattern that will be shown with the promised pastor. So, this is a very important. Formula or a pattern that SCJ holds on to. One of the things is this is John the Baptist really the betrayer? How can we know that he is the betrayer? So, this is what they say John the Baptist is the one who was sent to prepare for the messenger of the covenant,、uh, according to Malachi 3. Um, and verse 1. And it is true, even Jesus has mentioned that he confirms John the Baptist as the sent promised Elijah to come. So that is in Matthew 17、uh, 10 to verse 13. So it is true that John the Baptist is the promised Elijah, is the sent、um, messenger to prepare the way. For Jesus Christ as the Messiah. But here are the two things that、um, he did that could kind of arouse, arouse some questions among us. He doubts Jesus when he was in the prison. That's the first thing.、Um, that is in Matthew chapter 9, verse 14. You can see that G,、uh, John the Baptist. Sends his disciples and asks question Are you the one who was sent? Are you the one who whom we've been waiting for? Are you really the Messiah? You know, he's it really sounds like he's definitely doubting about Jesus as the Messiah. Second,、um, before this happened in Mark chapter, oh, hold on, let me actually go to the Bible. So it was.、Um, oh, so when.、Uh, first, oh, sorry about this. The first thing、um, John doubting about Jesus was in Matthew chapter 11, verse 1 or 2. He, he sends his disciples to ask、uh, Jesus about wh-、uh, Jesus whether he's the one who was to come. And another thing that happens before is in Matthew chapter 9 that talks about Jesus'、uh, um, disciples were there, and John's disciples were there, and then John's disciples are saying, You know, we're fasting with、uh, the Pharisees, how come you guys are not? So that tells us that John's disciples are、uh, in a team. In one team, on the side of Pharisees, whom Jesus, were,、uh, whom Jesus was criticizing and saying that they are doing wrong, the religious leaders.、Um, so it's ultimately John's disciples fasting and doing something together, being with them on the same side. But Jesus' disciples, Jesus were not. So they may ask questions. So this means. You know what? Like, John the Baptist is、uh, probably betraying Jesus because he's not on his side. This is what I want to say about the second one about Matthew chapter 9, where they're talking about the fasting.、Um, when you really look at that,、um, I, I, I searched, I read it in three Gospels Matthew 9. 14, Mark 2 18, and Luke 5 33. All those say that it is talking about John's disciples, not John. 
again, it was about John's disciples who were saying to Jesus、um, and his disciples that, you know, we are doing this fasting with the,、uh, the Pharisees. How come you guys are not doing it? So it tells me that we can't just assume that John's disciples were, John was doing the fasting with the Pharisees with his disciples. First of all,、um, Jesus didn't practice or claim everything that his disciples were doing. His disciples were still in the process of learning to become like Christ, and they were doing things that were not necessarily what Jesus wanted. So I would say John's disciples saying this doesn't necessarily guarantee that John was also on the same side with them. So that's one thing. And yeah,、uh, going back to Matthew chapter 11, it does look like it does say that Jesus is being questioned by John the Baptist. What do we do about it? My question is that what makes John the Baptist a betrayer? Is it because of him doubting Jesus? What makes someone a betrayer? Um, in that sense, who in the Bible、uh, was not a betrayal? I think it would be really a handful of people, or really few people, that are in the Bible who did not doubt on God or Jesus. Even uh, Samuel, uh, who was doubting whether he's really being called, Jonah was not sure if he's really to go to this Nineveh and like claim the word of God to them. Saul saying, I'm just a little child, I can't really do your things. A lot of the people in the Bible are questioning and doubting about what God says to them or the message that they, are,、uh, they were to deliver to his people. So, I would say that this as a betrayer,、uh, it is in a sense true that we all do that because of our sinful tendency.、Um, and yeah, probably because of the fact that John the Baptist was to really pave the road to Jesus, he probably had a big role. And Is、it was significant that you know, him doubting was more, than, more serious than just anyone else. It could, be, it could be true. And the thing about it is that another thing that they bring up is Aaron and Moses. So here's another example Moses was the one to come and be a promised pastor for his time. Aaron was the one to lead Moses or pave the way for Moses, but Aaron again made the golden calf, and so he was a betrayer. And Moses was the one who came and saves. But didn't Moses also betray God in a sense because he doubted God? And、um, in many passages, you can see that、um, there's one incident when he was told to,、uh, to give water for the, the people. Moses、uh, didn't really listen to God, and he was told to just、um, by God, he was told to speak.、Um, To the rock, but he hit the rock. I'm going to、uh, put some of the verses here later on. So he did something that was not told by God, and because of the reason, he could not go to see the promised land. So I'm saying that even the promised pastor that SCJ claims did betray. So what is really going on? And what about other promised pastors? They say these figures Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses. How about them? Did they all have someone before them as a betrayer? How about Adam? We don't know. Noah, we don't know. Abraham, we don't know. But they know that, okay, maybe Aaron did it. But Moses, we think that Moses also betrayed in a sense because he didn't. Completely、um, obey the word of God. But at the end, what I'm trying to say is that 
it's not that they were doubting or questioning God that just made their lives in a true, complete destruction, but God still allowed them another chance, forgave them as long as they were willing to come back to Him. Like Jonah, when he decided that, okay, I'm going to go back to Him and do my duty. You know what? Um, God will use him. And those promised pastors were used as long as they were willing to be with God and let God choose to work with them. So I think that yes, John the Baptist could be seen or considered as a betrayer, but the ultimate reason why SCJ wants to say that he is a betrayer is that yes, they want to make this pattern. There's a one who betrays, and then another one who will come and save this world, save uh, his people through the word of God. That's the person who will have the word of God, and we will have to follow him, just like Moses or Jesus. And in the present time, who is it? Mr. Lee. It, that's what their reasoning is. Um, there will be a, someone who will say that I'm here to pave the road for Mr. Lee and he's the one. And because of that, as an evidence, people will say Mr. Lee is therefore the promised pastor. I would say that would be the ultimate reason why SDJ wants to say that, you know, John the Baptist is a betrayer. And the betrayer, betraying, destruction, and salvation, that constantly happens in the world, in the, the biblical world, in history. Yes, it is true, we can look at it that way, but uh, I think ultimately it is really about the salvation that God has promised us through Christ, not through another man. So that is something I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you so much.